Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about cheese, the star of the Parmesan, Parmigiano Reggiano from Northern Italy. I love that cheese because that's the real deal. You want to make sure that you buy a whole piece that has that rind. The rind is how you know the Parmigiano Reggiano is actually the right one, the DOP from Northern Italy, from the Emilia Romagna region. Today we're going to make a Caesar salad with it. So let's do it. All right, so first we're going to use the baby jam that I have right here and we're gonna char them. So it's gonna be one part of the lettuce. So I'm just gonna simply cut the baby jams in half. I'm gonna do two, but actually one and a half, just like that. So I use baby jam, you could use any kind of uh, lettuce, but for the case I like to use them, they're a little sweeter and very crunchy. So I got a pan right here that I'm heating on. I'm gonna add a bit of oil, not too much. We wanna make sure it's really high heat because we wanna char the lettuce without cooking it really. So our pan is nice and hot and we're just gonna put the lettuce. And we're gonna let it char until it gets a really dark color. All we gotta do right now is just add a bit of seasoning. All right, so we're gonna take them off. Look at the beautiful char, it's gorgeous. So the reason why I'm doing that is I do not put bacon um, or any pork in my Caesar salad, but I still wanna get that smokiness coming out of the double smoked bacon. So charring it, it's gonna help. It's not completely smoked, but it's gonna have giving that char and a like beautiful uh, smell that you would get from bacon. All right, so now we're gonna work on the dressing. So first, I'm gonna take those beautiful Spanish anchovies and I'm going to dice them quite thin because they're gonna be in the dressing. We don't wanna have large bite. So these are fairly large, but you could probably use, if you use the small anchovies, you will use two to three. In this case, because they are really large, I'm only gonna use one filet of anchovies. You need to remember also that they are very salty. So when you actually season the dressing, not to add too much salt, right? So we're gonna add the anchovies to the bowl that we have right here. And then we're gonna work on the dressing. Okay, so first we're gonna take an egg yolk, pretty much like you were doing if you're doing a mayonnaise. Just gonna split the egg. There we go, so we're gonna create an emulsification. There we go, so we have an egg right here, egg yolk. I'm gonna add some mustard to it. So we're gonna do about a tablespoon. You see, I want it to be quite punchy. So we just added the mustard. We're gonna add the unpronounceable British sauce, Worcestershire. We're gonna add about half a tablespoon. Then I'm gonna add some black pepper. I do not wanna add any salt at this point. And I have some red wine vinegar. We're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half. And I'm going to mix all that together. Okay, so we're gonna take a whisk and whisk it all in. That would be the base. All right, from here, I'm gonna take my olive oil and we're gonna start emulsify the emulsification. So you wanna make sure you add it very slowly. Okay, I'm not happy with the consistency, so it should be thick, but not quite like a mayonnaise. You should still be able to whisk it. It's a dressing after all. However, I'm gonna add a bit of lemon juice to it. So actually a bit of lemon zest first. And then some lemon juice. So that's also gonna help loosen the dressing. I'm gonna go with a quarter lemon zest. And then half lemon juice. Just like that. And then gonna give it a whisk. And now the star of the show enters. I'm gonna take some of the Parmesan. So we're gonna cut a little chunk out of it. And I'm gonna grab the Parmesan and I'm gonna grate it right onto the dressing. So I would say you're looking at probably 
really at the end of the day, it's however, how much you want, but probably like half a cup of cheese. So it's gonna really help getting that beautiful flavor from the Parmesan getting into the lettuce. So once I have my cheese, I'm going to whisk it all in. All right, so you could use a box grater as well to grate your cheese, but I like to use a microplane because it's really thin and it's going to almost melt into anything you add it on. It's very beautiful. Just like that, we have a gorgeous Caesar dressing. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna add a bit of salt, but it's very balanced. You have the anchovies coming through, you have the Parmesan around the whole dressing. You have acidity from the lemon and the vinegar. It's really nice. Awesome. We are ready. Now we're going to make some croutons. Awesome. So now we're going to work on the croutons. I'm going to get some beautiful sourdough bread. And I'm just going to dice it. So I'm going to remove the crust. You don't have to per se if you don't want to, but I like to take mine off. Okay. I will use that though for something else, either breadcrumbs or even if you make a, a pudding, a sweet pudding. And then we're gonna cut some long strips. Okay. Just like that. And then we'll cut them into beautiful little dice. Okay. Then we're going to pan fry them. You could do it in the oven as well. I personally prefer to do it in a pan because I feel like I can really control the flavors I'm adding um, as I'm cooking them. So I'm gonna turn my pan on. All right, not too high. And we're gonna add a bit of oil. Just remember the bread is going to absorb that oil right away. So when you cook croutons, think bread absorb anything. So we're gonna start with a bit of oil, but be very careful so it doesn't burn out. That's why I also have some butter because actually butter is going to crisp it up, um, but it's, it's gonna get released from the bread, right? So while this is heating up, I'm going to crush some garlic. So most people will actually add garlic into the dressing. I personally don't like it. I think it's very aggressive. So I like to add it to the crouton so I still have that garlicky taste without being it overpowering. But you could absolutely add a clove of garlic to your seeded dressing if you feel like it. Two cloves, maybe three, let's be generous. Okay, and I'm just gonna crush them. There we go. Take the skin away. And we're gonna go with the bread into the pan. And then right away, I'm gonna add my garlic. So I really wanna get that flavor. You don't have to peel it, it's fine, we can take it away. I'm just gonna clean my board very quick. And then we're gonna get some butter ready. Obviously, our friends, best butter in Ontario. And we're gonna add, get some butter ready, cut into small dices so we can put it everywhere in the pan. I'm also gonna add a bit of thyme and rosemary to my croutons. And we're gonna give it a little shake. I want it to stick. And I'm gonna add my butter. All right, so we're gonna develop this beautiful nutty flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna add a bit of salt to the croutons and some black pepper. It already smells amazing in here. So it's gonna gently crisp up. So you wanna make sure you stay beside your croutons when you make them. They're gonna go from perfect to overdone in a quick second. So I wanna make sure that you always keep an eye on them, check them, make sure they're beautiful, crispy on each side. There's nothing worse than a crouton that's soggy on one end and crispy on the other. You could also do a shallow fry, so if you actually add a, quite a fair amount of oil into your pan and fry them. I think it's, again, it's gonna give a beautiful texture, maybe super crispy, but I like to have the outside crispy and the inside soft. And also they are a little, not as healthy, let's just say that. All right, so our croutons are coming together. The next step, I'm going to remove uh, the herbs and the garlic of the croutons, and I'm actually gonna grate some Parmesan. It's gonna give that extra flavor and crispiness. Okay. 
All right, so I just discarded my garlic and rosemary, which I've added on top of the lettuce that we charred earlier, because why not, extra flavor. And I'm just gonna take some of our Parmigiano Reggiano, and I'm gonna grate it right on top of our croutons. It's gonna bring some extra cheesy goodness, some crispiness, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so we have our charred lettuce, we have our croutons, garlicky and cheesy. We have a beautiful Caesar dressing with all the Parmigiano Reggiano. Now we're going to assemble our Caesar salad. So I'm gonna take another one and a half of our jams. I'm gonna cut in half and just do fairly big chunks because I still want some texture, okay? I'm gonna put it into my bowl and I do the other half right here. Cut into big chunks. To that, I'm gonna kind of like split it up a little bit. Actually, you know what? We'll do another one. This leftover is not a bad, uh, a bad problem. So split our lettuce. Obviously, always make sure you clean your blade every time you're done cutting anything. And we clean our cutting board. Okay, then. To our lettuce, we're gonna add some of our dressing. So I'm gonna hit it with three spoons to start, and we can always add more. To that, I'm gonna add some of our croutons, bring some beautiful texture. Then I'm gonna add more shaved, actually, grated Parmesan to the bowl. Beautiful Parmesan Reggiano, look at that. So fluffy, can't wait. Then we're gonna mix it all together. Well, look at those colors. The yellow, the green, the whites, beautiful dark brown from our croutons. Wow. I'm gonna bit of black pepper. Just gonna give it a bit of a kick. Before we plate, I'm gonna make sure I'm happy with the taste. That is awesome. So tasty. All right, let's grab a plate. And I'm gonna hit it with our salad in the center. Look at his beautiful colors. Okay. Then, I'm gonna move that in front of me. And I'm gonna take some of our char lettuce, which I'm going to cut in halves again. And we could do probably three should be enough. I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna add a bit of black pepper, a bit of salt, and I'm gonna take a spoon and kind of like apply the dressing, kind of like brush it off. So we still want to make sure there's some of that dressing in there. Okay. There we go. I'm going to place them on the lettuce. So we're going to have a contrast of the char lettuce and then the crispy. This one is a little bit cooked. So different texture, different flavor. Look at that. Gorgeous. Then I'm going to add a teeny bit more croutons on top. And obviously I'm going to take a big piece of Parmesan. Then we're gonna take the Parmigiano Reggiano and then we're just gonna like shave it on top. I want some beautiful shavings. So we really focus the Parmigiano. Be very generous with it. It's also gonna have a lot of texture. So I'm just gonna place them nicely so I still wanna see the lettuce. Okay. And then finally, I'm gonna hit it with a little tiny squeeze of lemon juice. And if you like the recipe, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you allow me, that is the best that I ever had. Forget steakhouses, this is the place.